What's going on, Dodgers Nation? Doug McCain here. You can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at DMAC underscore LA. We've got the latest Shohei Otani rumors coming up in just a second. But quick reminder for all the latest Dodgers news and rumors all off season long. Be sure to hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell. And if you want to see us post even more Dodgers content, smash that like button. And as always, I want your takes down below in the comment section. Today's Dodgers Nation question of the day. Do you want to see the Dodgers make an aggressive offer for or Shohei Otani this offseason? Do you think the Angels would really trade him to the Dodgers? I want all your takes down below. And for all the latest Dodgers news, head over to DodgersNation.com. And a happy offseason, Dodgers Nation. Happy and a happy offseason, Dodgers Nation. Happy free agency. I know the 2022 season did not go the way you wanted it to. No World Series for you, Dodgers. After winning 111 games in the regular season, setting a new franchise record, they win just one game in the postseason against the Padres. They had an early exit. And yes, it was terrible. Yes, it was devastating. But on the flip side, the silver lining could be that maybe Maybe this organization wants to shake things up this offseason and make some power moves. Well, the power move of all power moves would be to trade for Shohei Otani. Now, how likely is it? Well, the latest rumor comes from Andy Martino from SNY, who said last week the Angels are showing no appetite to discuss Otani at present. The current perception from rivals is that Los Angeles is more likely to try to extend Otani, and if they are unable to keep him, look to move him at just July's trade deadline. So that definitely throws some cold water on everyone's Shohei Otani dreams for next season. But I do think that could change. And one big factor is the sale of the Angels. Now, will Artie Moreno get a deal done? Will the new owner be in place before next season? Well, Rob Manfred at the World Series said that was unlikely. And me personally, I think they're going to wait until a new owner is in place to make a decision on Shohei Otani because that new owner might want to say, hey, we want the current regime to make that move before we take over because we don't want the Shohei Otani trade on our watch. I mean, that just wouldn't sit well with the fan base. You want Artie Moreno to sell the team. He finally does. And the first thing they do is trade the most unique players since Babe Ruth. That is not going to play with the Angels fan base. But I think the Angels fans that are in the know, they realize that they do not have the requisite debt. They don't have a farm system to really build a sustainable winner. And then it would make sense to trade Shohei Otani and begin this down to the studs rebuild that they've needed for years now. I know they don't want to hear that, but that's just the reality of the situation. But another thing to consider too is when the Angels ultimately do get sold, they're going to go for somewhere in the range of two to two and a half billion dollars. Now you compare that to what Artie bought the team for back in 2003 when he bought them from Disney. He paid a hundred and eighty million dollars. So this new ownership group, they are going to have money and if they do they're going to go to Shohei Otani and they're going to try to probably present their best case as to why he should stay with the Angels because guess what only one team wins the World Series every year the rest of the teams you have to put on a product you have to market your franchise and Shohei Otani he sells tickets he sells jerseys he sells sponsorships so it still makes a lot of sense for the Angels to try to keep him in Anaheim when it comes to a business and marketing perspective but long term, would it help them to replenish their farm and just turn the page and start a whole new era? I think it absolutely does. And if Shohei Otani goes to the Angels and says, hey, I'm 28 years old. I'm going to be 29 next July. I pitch. I hit. How much longer do I have in my absolute prime? How much longer do I have to contend for a World Series title? Because that is my ultimate goal. Can I truly wait around here in Anaheim for you guys to figure things out? How long of a rebuild is it going? going to take. So I think Otani's going to make it clear to this franchise one way or the other, whether or not he is committed. And when he does that, I think then the Angels will strongly consider their next move. Because if Otani makes it clear that he's not going to consider signing a long-term extension with them, it makes absolute sense for the Angels to trade him as soon as possible. Why would you wait till the deadline when you could trade him this offseason and possibly get a bigger package? Now, yes, you're paying more during the season for 
a trade. But for Otani, you're talking about a true rental in that case. And I think this offseason, they would have the time to evaluate players and get things done. But there is this weird limbo period with the new ownership group. So that really is the conflict at this point. If Artie Moreno was not selling the team, I think right now they'd be exploring all their options. And I think he absolutely would be dealt before the start of the season. But now with the new ownership changeover, maybe they do possibly wait for this season. So it's very interesting when it comes to Shohei Otani because he is a great player. He's also such an incredibly unique player that he's tough to evaluate. Look, what if I told you you could trade for Jordan Alvarez and Luis Castillo? Well, he's basically the same player, right? Even better than probably Castillo on his best day. And he's a guy that hits for power. He's an ace level pitcher. He misses bats. He strikes guys out. His stuff would play up in the postseason. He's also an impact bat. He's an MVP winner from a marketing standpoint. He fills the seats. He sells jerseys. So he makes a lot of sense for the Dodgers to pursue. And we know the Dodgers have gone after Shohei Otani multiple times. LA was very close to signing Otani as a pitcher out of high school in Japan before he began his career as a two-way player with the Nippon and Ham Fighters. Then later, LA went after him in 2018 before he ultimately signed with the Angels. And I can almost guarantee you that if you had the DH in the National League at that time, that he would be in Dodger Blue. So there has been a relationship there. We know that he definitely favors playing for a West Coast team because of its proximity to Japan and how it's easier to travel there. So you want to consider that as well. And I also think that you'll see teams around the league that want Shohei Otani, but they also realize it'll take a King's ransom to get him. And if you're not going to be a player for him long term, are you really going to sell the farm and just completely gut your farm system for Otani? Or is there only going to be a select few teams that are going to be willing to overpay for him? Teams like the Yankees or the Dodgers, teams that have a realistic shot of signing him long term. So I think that's another thing to consider. And yes, if you are the Dodgers, you will absolutely have to overpay for Shohei Otani because one, you already know the Dodgers tax is real, but that goes up even higher when it's the Angels. The Angels do not want to trade Shohei Otani to the Dodgers. Angel fans don't want to drive around town and see Shohei Otani plastered on billboards in a Dodger uniform. That is the last thing they want to do. Can you imagine Angel fans seeing Shohei Otani winning a World Series MVP with LA? They do not want to do that, but on the same token, if the Dodgers present the best package, well, the Angels, they owe it to themselves to consider it. It's not like they weren't close to doing that deal a few years ago when the Dodgers almost did a deal with the Angels. They would have sent outfielder Jock Peterson, right-handed pitcher Ross Stripling, and outfield prospect Andy Pajes to the Angels in exchange for Luis Rangifo. They were close to doing that deal, but Artie Moreno, he grew impatient, and the deal was dead. So they have considered doing deals in the past, and if the Dodgers, they make a godfather offer, maybe the Angels would consider it. Now, what would a godfather offer look like? Well, first, you would have to assume that any deal would include the Dodgers' top prospect, catcher Diego Cartaya, but that most likely wouldn't be the case because the Angels, they're very happy with their young catcher, Logan Ohapi, and they think that he's the catcher of the future for the Angels. By the way, if he doesn't get a beer deal at some point during his career, I'm going to be very disappointed. Logan Ohapi, it's perfect. But moving past that, the Dodgers would have to include some of their top prospects. And today, Fabian Ardaya of The Athletic, he proposed this deal for Shohei Otani. And it would be a king's ransom. This is an absolute haul for the Angels. The Dodgers would include their top pitching prospect, right-handed pitcher Bobby Miller, then second baseman Michael Bush, infielder outfielder Miguel Vargas, right-handed pitcher Landon Knack, left-handed pitcher Maddox Bruns, outfielder Andy Pajes, and then right-handed pitcher Ryan Pepio for Shohei Otani. So if you look at that deal, that is five of the Dodgers' top six prospects, and that would be a massive haul. I think the Angels, they would be definitely better off if they found a way to get some of the Dodgers' big league-ready talent that's under club control for multiple seasons. Guys like Tony Gonson and Gavin Lux, maybe even a Dustin May. But if they wanted to go the straight prospect route and think long-term, maybe this is a deal they would consider. Now, this is a massive haul. If you try this deal in MLB trade values, it won't even let you complete the deal. It'll say, whoa, it's not realistic to add this many players to a trade. Let's cut it back a bit. So 
if that deal went through, the Dodgers would be gutting the top of their farm system for one year of Shohei Otani. You're probably saying, well, why don't you just wait until he hits free agency? Yes, the Dodgers can and most likely will do that and pursue him then. We also saw the success they had with Mookie Betts, trading for him while he still had a year of team control left, and they got a mega deal done before the start of the 2020 season. So maybe the Dodgers think to themselves, hey, we want to try this with Shohei Otani, and if they feel that they can get an extension done, then maybe it makes sense for them. But still, that is such a haul for Shohei Otani, but we're talking about a guy that is an ace-level pitcher and an impact bat, an MVP in the absolute prime of his career. So maybe that does entice the Dodgers. I strongly doubt they'll do that, especially after hearing Stan Kasten recently talk about how they're going to start letting the kids play, letting these young prospects see what they have at the next level. And that tells me that they are going to start giving these young guys that are inexpensive and under team control for a long time some opportunities to see what they have. I mean, just look what the Houston Astros did with Pena. They, he replaces Carlos Correa at shortstop, and he wins the ALCS and World Series MVP, the gold glove. So at some point, you do have to start trusting this young talent and see what they can do. And experience is the ultimate currency. These guys aren't going to realize their potential unless they get these big league opportunities. So I think you'll start to see that early next season. I think we will see Bobby Miller and Gavin Stone earlier than you might expect. But it is Shohei Otani and things can change. And if the Angels do decide to make him available, I fully expect the Dodgers to do their due diligence and see what it would take to get a deal done. Me personally, I would rather part ways with some of this big league talent that's under club control for multiple seasons and try to sell high on guys like Tony Gonson and some players like that because there are some players they could do that right now with on the Dodgers. But that is where we stand right now with Shohei Otani. I want your thoughts on that trade proposal from Fabian Ardaya. Do you think the Angels will try to trade him this offseason? Let me know down below. Look, if he joined the Dodgers, they'd be the Beatles of baseball. Showtime would be back in L.A. It'd be great, but let me know down below. My name is Doug McCain. You can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at DMAC underscore L.A. For all latest Dodgers news and rumors all offseason long, be sure to hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and if you want to see us post even more Dodgers content, smash that like button. And as always, think blue, bleed blue, and I'm out.